Good day. Welcome to Lawyer Up by NBV Law. This is attorney Nikki De Vega, managing partner of Nicolas and De Vega Law Offices. In today's video, I will teach you how to commence a suit for damages in the Philippines. The Supreme Court defined damages as the sum of money which the law awards or imposes as a pecuniary compensation, a recompense, or a satisfaction for an injury done or a wrong sustained as a consequence either of a breach of a contractual obligation or a torturous act. Thus, the law on damages is merely intended to repair the damage done by putting the plaintiff in the same position as far as pecuniary compensation can do that uh, he would have if the damage had not been inflicted and the wrong was not committed. In Philippine laws, there are six kinds of damages. Under Article 2197 of the Civil Code of the Philippines, damages may be one of the following. Number one, actual or compensatory. Number two, moral. Number three, nominal. Number four, temperate or moderate. Five, liquidated. And number six, exemplary or corrective. Well, I will discuss these different kinds of damages in a separate video since they would require uh, quite a long discussion. Moving on, in an action for the recovery of damages, the court that has jurisdiction will actually depend upon the total amount of the damages claimed. The Metropolitan Trial Court, or the MTC, shall have exclusive jurisdiction over an action for the recovery of damages where the total amount of the damages claimed does not exceed 400,000 pesos. 400,000 pesos, okay? But if it exceeds the jurisdictional amount of 400,000 pesos, the Regional Trial Court shall have exclusive jurisdiction. Since an action for the recovery of damages is a civil and a personal action, it shall be commenced or tried where the plaintiff or any of the principal plaintiffs reside or any of, where any of the defendants reside or if it's a non-resident defendant where he may be found, of course, at the direction of the plaintiff. Please take note that the civil action for damages due to libel can only be instituted either in the regional trial court of the place where the government or public officer holds office or in the place where the alleged libelous article was printed and first published and if the offended parties are private individuals the venue shall be in the regional trial court of the place where the libelous article was printed and first published or where any of the offended parties actually resides at the time of the commission of the offense. So that, in a nutshell, is how to commence a suit for damages in the Philippines. If this video has been helpful to you, kindly hit the subscribe button so you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Or you can visit our website in, at nbvlaw.com for information about legal matters in the Philippines. Again, this is attorney Nikki De Vega, managing partner of Nicolas and De Vega Law Offices. And thank you for watching Lawyer Up by NDV Law.